what's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister so today we're going to do a comic book review of spawn issue number 11 brought to you by rated comics let's get to it so we begin this issue with spawn saying let's get back to reality he's been having nightmares and that's the only way he can explain all this but the truth is as we know from the previous issue and issue number nine it wasn't really a nightmare or maybe it was but he was transported after pushing that button in Angela's Lance in issue number nine and being transported to this crazy trippy world in issue number 10 where he met Cerebrus and all the other characters of Marvel and DC and you got to watch that review to get the whole context of it but Spawn wakes up screaming and these guys Boots and Billy tell him it ain't real Spawn come on now they'll call a cop stop screaming like that and Billy apologizes to Al so he slaps the heck out of him and Spawn or Al Simmons tells him Poppy and Boots guys thank god it's you man I was having this trip here I was in this weird world demons new age girls really mean angels and it's talking Ardvac he's talking about Cerebus in issue number 10 and they're like are you tripping man Boots is like usually with me it's rats and lizards and beetles when I have dreams but I mostly get bats but i guess in your case it must be the wine you're drinking and spawn's like it ain't the wine i'm drinking man so they ask spawn well tell me the real story we haven't heard nothing about you so what's the soft story with you my man and spawn tells him well that's a long story and it doesn't have a punchline. let's just say that all i know is i'm kind of like boots over there he's so in love with his boots that's that's what we call him so that's all he's got to care for and all i've got is you guys just like that guy in his boots which is why we call him boots I care for you guys, so you're my friends, and this is my home. So a loud explosion happens, and Bobby's like, Spawn, you're going the wrong way, and Spawn's instincts tell him to run towards the action, where these guys, like you and I, they're going to run away from the action. And Spawn's like, that's a 50 millimeter tsunami, it's Japanese, cops do not use it, it's military. So Spawn has seen his weapon in action before, back when he was Al Simmons and he was alive. It's a handheld tank stopper. Use it on a human and you're talking about getting spaghetti sauce, the lumpy and thick kind. And this damn thing brings Spawn back all the way back to the wrong kind of memories as this machine gun or whatever it is knocks him back. This girl tells him to save her and before Spawn could do any saving, Spawn and the girl get shot and because of that it ends the girl's life so speaking of spaghetti sauce from earlier the lumpy kind that's what they'll both be if al simmons were still alive and still human but for the girl it doesn't make a speck of difference because she is now pronounced dead so this brother comes in his oversized brother named boomer and bobby's like you son of a bitch you killed my pal and spawn has a huge hole in the back right there as you can see and boomer's like maybe i'll kill you too you drunk old turd i got a case of the nasty tonight and spawn's like me too a real bad case and it's all your fault look at that hole give me my gun it's time to end this motherfucker's career well he didn't say it like that but i'm sure that's what spawn would probably say that's what he means you know what i mean so boomer's like this cannot be happening he runs away and bobby's like i don't get it you're dreaming now you're walking you're alive then you're dead and you're not and this punk hits you in the chest and you let him run away what's wrong with you are you gonna do something i'm confused and to spawn the punk would be easy to kill and spawn is tempted to kill him but something's happening here something that might threaten the filthy stench of pavement that spawn calls his home the alleyways and there's the girl the save me girl that spawn didn't have time to save so what's he gonna do he's gonna follow the punk and see what answers he can get but first he uses his precious energy his necroplasm to fix the hole in his chest and he chases him down follows him and upon getting to where the punk is destinated at or boomer he finds out that it's creeps nerds gangs street gangs the plot thickens the all of a sudden it's revealed that the nerds and the creeps are fighting over the turf in the city and keep in mind this is written in the 90s so this is kind of cheesy right now but in terms of <laughs> gang fighting hey spawn's caught in the middle of it, middle of it because what spawn realizes when this guy boomer is getting interrogated like nerds don't cause a scene you're causing too much ruckus and too much attention on us so you're getting sloppy over there this guy tells him well i was shooting the girl and i killed the girl boomer tells him i killed the girl exactly what you guys wanted me to do but in the process this is brother in the cape and chains and i put a hole in his chest but he still lives maybe we should leave that alleyway alone and the leader is like nah that alleyway will give us the corridor the right to the heart of the creep turf they're in the middle of it 
And Spawn realizes a turf war is happening and it's in Spawn's home and he's right in the middle of it. So even though his power is depleted from fixing his chest, too many guns are down there for him to go after them. It's the wrong time to do an attack. So he learned to tell the difference back in the wars when he was a soldier. There's an important rule to war. If all you're doing is defense, then you're screwed. You have to create a situation. But first of all, you have to watch out for your buddies. So meanwhile, back in the alleyway, Boots and Billy are figuring what the hell to do with this girl. And they figure, well, we're just gonna let the cops clean it, but we gotta get the hell up out of here. So now, the creep gang comes in, tells the bums, step away from the girl. This is emotional. Well, don't mind us, says Boots and Bobby. We're just leaving. They're like, no, nah, the nerds are going to pay for this. But first, I got to show these nerds that these alleyways belong to the creeps. And I got to mark it with blood. And you fat boy, you look like you got a lot of blood in you. And guess what? He picks them up, you know, ready to make some blood in the alleyway. But Spawn blasts them in the back. Spawn tells him, sure, this is a smelly, filthy rat hole of an alley. But you know what? It's my smell filthy rat hole of an alley get lost and spawn unleashes the blast power on these guys on these creeps and the creeps tell him you coming all this way in an hour of grief not showing one shred of compassion this is not so good so he blasts off on spawn and even if spawn can beat this guy there'll still be more coming from both sides and he's got to create a situation while he's dodging all these bullets coming at him and now he has a situation that he's gonna create and it's easy it's a psychological warfare so he's going to use his necroplasm his telekinesis to create a situation to goad the nerds and the creeps to hate each other and go after one another in this alleyway and very soon that's what we get an all out war in the alleyway all at the leverage of these two while spawn and these bums sit back relax and kick back they don't know me like that so after all this ends byron still lives and he calls Spawn out and Spawn's like, okay, big boy, let's play Alien. I'm referencing the Alien film, I believe the James Cameron Alien film from 1979. So teleportation is what Spawn's going to do. He's going to teleport himself, being ripped from Adam Adam, living stream of energy, goes into this guy's armor. And not armor, it's five layer Kevlar with the splash of an almost nuke proof proton, heavy alloy, and it's tough to penetrate. But Spawn can teleport inside and like Houdini an escape artist said about a bank vault he locked himself into it's built to keep people out but not to keep people in it's not fun and it's not pretty and he lets it rip internally from Byron so Bobby tells Spawn okay after you rip yourself off this is kind of a trip right here but you know you are a boy so I'm not going to ask too many questions about you because I don't want you doing that same thing to me but what I'm asking you is what about the alley what are we going to do and Spawn's like, we let the cops clean it up. Then, you know, we move back in. And he tosses Byron's decapitated head down the way. And life goes on. And that's where we end this issue of Spawn, issue number 10, written by Frank Miller. I thought this was a fun read. Even though this was written in the 90s, you got to enjoy a little bit of a throwback on this one. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, I'm definitely enjoying going back from Spawn, issue 1, all the way up to the current run of Spawn. So I'm going to leave the playlist of Spawn, issues number 1 through 11 in the playlist at the end of this video if you guys want to catch up on it and binge watch on it and also the playlist in the description from spawn issue 296 all the way up to its current run because eventually we will get there on this channel so if you like the content we're throwing up you know what to do like the video and subscribe to this channel here at rated comics we do awesome comic book reviews comic book related content with the occasional comic book review and also link in description if you wish to add any of the comic books in this channel or spawn and our rated comics exclusives support the art support the industry with all that being said thank you again for watching until next time